You want to learn about project delivery methods in 2018? Stay tuned. Hi and welcome back, my name is Chris Conkle. This channel is all about helping you master construction so that you can be an industry leader. Today's lesson is on the project delivery methods in 2018. Okay, so now my new format for these lessons is what I'm gonna do is put the lesson itself into the description so that you can read it and I'm not gonna be missing anything, right? Um, what I, what I, my theory is, is if I just put the lessons down below in the description, I'm also gonna put the definitions itself. So the definition of project delivery method in the, from the book will be uh, down in the description. You guys can put all of your questions down in the comments and I will answer every single question. Um, the question, if the question is good enough, then I'll do an entire video to answer it. And I will notify you of me doing that. This is going to free me up from reading off a script and constantly looking down at my notes and making sure I didn't miss anything. So this will be um, a new experiment I'm, gonna, I'm trying out. I hope it works. So you guys got to let me know what is working and what's not so that I know so that I can make the changes so that I can deliver you the value that you deserve. The term uh, project delivery method was coined to describe uh, what type of management style is used to deliver a project, to build a construction project. Uh, project delivery methods, there's many types. The most common being uh, the traditional design, bid, build. There's contract management. And then there's the newer ones like BIM, building information modeling or integrated project delivery or you know the P3 type of contract. All of those t uh, contracts I'll be getting into in detail. Uh, I'll be doing a video on each contract, but for now we're just gonna describe what the project delivery method is. So the project delivery method, like I said, is the management techniques, the management style used to build a construction project. Um, so for example, on the traditional design bid build, uh, model that is uh, where an owner goes into a contract with a representative of some sort like uh, usually designers and engineers They design the building put it out for tender um, when it's over tender What that means is all the general contractors who are qualified with that style of delivery method uh, Being this one the, the traditional design bid build so almost every contractor uh, does that um, so anyways they price that job with subcontractors and um, the, this contract in Canada is called the CCDC2 contract. And then there's the 4B contracts, which are an extension of the CCDC2 for subcontractors with the prime contractor. So whatever prime contractor wins that, uh, that tender, that bid, uh, will get the job. All right, so then that contractor will manage that construction project using with the using the contract documents as a guideline contract documents are things like the the contract itself the drawings the specifications and any addendum um, there everything all the records eventually become a part of the contract documents but right off the bat there's always those main four components right so you got your drawings specifications addendum and the contract okay so every single project delivery method has its own style of contract. Um, we'll be going into contracts later, like I said, but for the project delivery method, what determines what method to use? There's a lot of factors. So we're gonna consider the duration, like how quickly does the owner need the the building, the structure, right? Uh, there's gonna be what t what uh, availability for, for personnel there are, what uh, and their skill level, right? Um, you're gonna have all of these things, the, 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 the level of cost control, the uh, lot of, okay, so private versus public work uh, is another factor. A lot of public work requires a lot more record keeping and uh, data communication, right? So you're gonna have extra management who can deal with that. Uh, don't get me wrong, there's uh, big guys, uh, private private uh, contracts as well that require a lot of these things as too. Uh, but um, you can guarantee it with the, with the public contract. There's so many factors that go into deciding what uh, product delivery method to use but for now let's just get through just we're just talking about what a project delivery method is so uh, like I said it's just the style of management used to build the building is what it is um, I'm gonna be doing a video very shortly on BIM which is a newer way a new um, uh, it's called building information modeling which is a newer delivery method uh, the first job I did uh, with the with a 
uh, BIM was in 2006. Uh, it was a hospital, and it was it was really neat because it was um, BIM kind of it was it puts all of the all, put all the mechanical and electrical stuff into into the interstitials, and um, before it was even put in, uh, this computer software could figure out the conflicts, right? So then the designers and engineers can make adjustments before the installations, right? So uh, that's really cool stuff. So then I'll definitely I got I got a really good video lined up for that. Back in the olden days, there used to be what we called master builders, and that master builder would be the would build the entire project, would do everything. But those days are long gone. Our buildings today, the facilities today are way too complicated for that. So it takes a team of designers, a team of managers to get the project built. Um, so the project delivery method it is what determines the all of that, right? The, the What type of designers and how the relationship with the designers and, and the contractor works and the how the relationship works from the owner to designer and contractor works. That's how, that's what the project delivery method is. It's a focus on the management, the owner and the designers, the engineers, that's their relationship. Um, you won't notice a difference in the field. Uh, as a worker yourself, you're not gonna notice a difference. The only differences that you might see would be the peer pressure or the management pressure on you to get certain things done. The, that is the only difference you're gonna notice. Everything else is gonna stay the same uh, for you. The project delivery method it affects management and uh, and the owners. That's what that is. Um, so why is it important to know what a project delivery method is as a worker? Well, that's really a, a simple to answer. Uh, you're going to be able to recognize problems right away in the field and relay them to your management. Uh, management can't see what you see uh, while you're working in the field. So if you can identify uh, uh, problems or if you can identify an, a, a, a way, a process to, to improve uh, something, then make sure you tell management. Give them the suggestion. They'll appreciate it. Don't be afraid to speak up. Uh, nowadays, the sharing information, uh, sharing the truth, knowledge, and experience with one another is is vital to uh, advancing or improving our industries right so make sure you do that um, it's also important to know what the pro what's, what type of project delivery method you're working under uh, so that you can understand the type of contract as well because it dictates the type of contract every project delivery method has its own contract so um, like I was telling you before with the, the, the the traditional design, bid, build, there's design and build, contract management, uh, you got lump sum, right, which is, uh, you know, worked into your uh, design and build at all those contracts, but you got guaranteed max price, you got contract management at risk, you got integrated project management, or you got uh, building information modeling, uh, P3 contracts, all these different styles, all these different project delivery methods, right? Um, so when you're in the field as a worker and you can identify and you know the different contracts and all that, by the time you get to be a manager, you are gonna, you're just gonna, you're gonna know so much. You're gonna be an excellent manager because you 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 are groomed into it. Uh, you weren't just all of a sudden became a manager like myself and thrown into school, and then it was like backwards, right? So um, I believe that this way of telling the workers about management techniques right now is grooming them to be better managers in the future, right? Which in turn will improve our industry. So yeah, that's gonna drive positive change. Hope you understand what a project delivery method is now. Make sure you review the description. I put the lesson down there. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I'll answer every single question. Uh, my next video will be on leadership and problem solving. So if you don't want to miss a thing, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. This is Chris. Bye for now, everyone.